Hi, I'm David Cantor with the Law Offices of David Michael Cantor, and today I'm going to talk about visitation of an inmate at the Towers Jail. Now, the Towers Jail is located at 3127 West Gibson Lane, and the way you get there is you go down either 35th Avenue or 27th Avenue, and when you hit Durango, head to the middle towards 29th Avenue. Now, you're going to run into a street called Gibson Lane. You're going to turn and start going south, and then it's going to bend you around to the west. Now, as it bends you to the west, you're going to see a parking lot and a jail onto the uh, south side of the road. That's the Towers Jail, and it's also hooked onto the Tent City Jail. Now, once you go there, park. Uh, it's roughly 31st Avenue and Gibson Lane. Um, if you've gone all the way down and you see the Durango Jail at 32nd Lane, you've gone too far, so it's the Towers Jail. Now, once you park in the parking lot, the entrance will be on the west side of the lot. Now, when you get inside, you'll have a face-to-face -face visit with the inmate, unless there's certain charges. There'll be a divided table. Do not reach across the divider and touch the inmate. Do not pass papers. They get very upset. If you have any questions, you can call the jail's line, jail line, the Sheriff Information Management System line at 602-876-0322. And if you have specific visitation restriction questions about the Towers Jail, you can call the Towers Jail at 602 8761679. Now, general rules about visitation. Visitation is Sunday through Monday or 7 days a week from 8 in the morning till 8 at night. Last check-in is at 7:15. Um, each inmate gets a 30-minute in uh, visitation per week. The most they can have is two visitors at a time. If you have a baby that's under 12 months old, that doesn't count as a visitor. The minute they're a year old or older, that counts as a visitor. Make sure you show up with a valid ID. No swap meet ID, no Sam's Club. It's got to be a DMV driver's license, DMV ID, or a passport. No felony convictions. They won't let you in. You cannot have done jail time in the Maricopa County jail system in the previous 12 months. If you've done even a day, they won't let you in. And no illegal aliens. Um, if you're under 18, you must be accompanied by an adult. If you're a spouse, and meaning you're married and you're 17 years old, you don't need an adult, but you have to show up with a valid marriage certificate. Um, if you're under 14 years of age, you don't need any ID at all, but you need to be with an adult. Now the dress code, dress conservatively. Call the jail if you have any questions. Once you get there, fill out the white form. Put the inmate's full name, date of birth, and hopefully uh, the booking number if you have it. Also take your ID, slide it under the window through the drawer, and then the sheriff's office will call you when it's your turn. Now, if your loved one is sitting in jail and they haven't been convicted and their case is ongoing, give us a call. We'd love to help you out and potentially give them a defense. If they have already pled guilty but they're waiting sentencing, give us a call. If it's a range sentencing, meaning it could be anywhere from one year to three years or whatever, give us a call. Maybe we can do the sentencing and get the absolute minimum at sentencing. And if they've already convicted, uh, been convicted, give us a call. We can help with an appeal, a post-conviction relief petition, or sentence modification, knocking the sentence even lower. Give us a call at 602-307-0808 or go to our website dmcantor.com. Fill out a form to contact us. We'll set a free 30-minute consultation in our office. It doesn't cost you anything, but it takes 30 minutes of your time. We look forward to hearing from you soon, so give us a, give us a ring and we'll be sure to help you out.